Hey peoples, uh, this one's for Satya. We are on lesson 14. We're looking at evaluation and solve equations by inspection. So we only have uh, two vocabulary words. Uh, one is an expression, which is a math phrase, just like a sentence made up of variables and numbers. So you may have something like this, 2x plus 4, um, and you may have something like uh, 2x plus 3y. But notice that um, there is no equal sign, all right? So this is what we call an expression. Now, if we look at an equation, it's a math sentence that states two quantities are equal. A solution to an equation is a number that satisfies the equation. So you may have 2x plus 4 um, is equal to 8. So this in itself is an equation. It has an equal sign. It says that this quantity is equal to that quantity. Um, another thing to note that when we're dealing with uh, an equal sign, there's only one value of x, which in this case x will equal 2. There's only one value of x that would make that statement true. All right? So, next slide. Um, here's an equation. 4n plus 3 is equal to 15. Um, to evaluate means to substitute numbers in place of variables and calculate the result. So, <clears throat> Let's say that, let's let, um, I'm sorry, let's let n be equal to 3. So if, it, if n is equal to 3, you plug, um, or you substitute 3 in for n, so it's going to be 4 times 3, plus 3 is equal to 15. You know that that's 12, plus 3 is equal to 15, and you know that is 15 is equal to 15. Um, so that's how you, um, that's how you substitute is you plug in that value for n and solve it. Now, typically, you may or may not have that value. Um, it may say substitute in and find out what this actual value is. But anyway, it just depends on the question. So, example one, <clears throat> it says a formula for perimeter of the rectangle is P, which means perimeter, is equal to 2L plus 2W, well, where um, L is equal to the length and W is equal to the width. So you have this rectangle, you have an L, you have an uh, W, and the perimeter all the way around would be P. And it says, um, find P, find the perimeter when L is equal to 15, uh, when L is 15 centimeters, and when W is equal to 12 centimeters. Okay, so you have P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Um, so we have P is equal to 2 times 15 plus uh, 2, oh, let me undo that last piece, um, 2 times 12, and so you have P is equal to um, 30 uh, plus 24, therefore P is equal to 54, and it would be centimeters, all right? And that would be your answer, all right? Next slide. Uh, example 2, it says, um, if a taxi company charges $2 flat, flat fee, a flat fee is that uh, regardless how far you drive in the taxi, it's still going to cost you $2, okay? That's kind of like it's going to cost you $2 just to jump into the taxi itself. Uh, plus $3 per mile, and they're going to let M equal mile. Then the cost C in dollars of a taxi ride is shown by this formula. So you have 3 times the number of miles plus 2, which is the flat fee, is equal to C, which is the total cost of that taxi ride. And then it says, suppose that the cost of the taxi ride is 20, so we know that that is $20. Uh, find the length of the taxi ride by solving that equation, all right? So we're, you're trying to find M, which represents the number of miles, that would be the length. So you have 3M plus 2 is equal to 20, all right? Uh, so the first thing you want to look at is you're combining like terms, which means that term and that term are both constants. I need to get them on the opposite side of where the variable is at. We know the variable is right there, which means the 2 needs to go to the right. <clears throat> so you're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Why? Because I'm adding a 2, therefore, to make it go to 0, you would subtract a 2. That's 0. Uh, and over here would be uh, 18. And so what you have left is you have 3m is equal to 18. All right. Uh, now what do you do? Well, I know that you're solving for just that variable, and so the 3 needs to move to the other side of the equal sign. So if I am multiplying right here, to, to move that 3, you would divide by 3, both sides. That would equal 1. 1 times that m right there is still m. 
and then you have 18 divided by 3 would be 6. So this is telling me that the taxi ride was actually 6 miles. So that was pretty easy. You could probably figure that one out by yourself. Anyway, um, I think that is the end of the video, or the end of the slide. So have an awesome day. I'll see you next video.